Hey, my loves. So today I'm going to cook a real quick dish, which is my easy, creamy chicken pesto pasta. So easy, guys. So stay tuned. So we're going to get started on our recipe, guys. So I have some egg noodles. You could use pasta or I will use linguine because even though the sauce is somewhat, somewhat heavy, but we want the pasta to be light. So I'm using some egg noodles, so you can use linguine. Okay, and we're gonna slice up some onions here. Okay, I'm gonna slice up some onions, about a half, half of some onions, because we want it to melt. And I got some water. So I got rolling. some water rolling right here, okay? With just some and salt, no oil. And I got some leftover chicken breast. My and pesto. pesto, this is not green. Well, you could use it as green seeds, but it's my pesto. It's called my pesto here. And you're gonna need some butter. And one garlic clove. Okay. Because I don't want the garlic, to, I love garlic, but I don't want it to overpower the actual flavors of the pesto. Now that my water is boiling, <laughs> I'm going to add my noodles. And these don't need to cook long, guys. I would really say, like, with these noodles, I would say five minutes. Okay. Um, and I'm basically showing you how to take some leftovers. You know, we have some leftover chicken breast. And I'm just going to turn it into a delicious meal. Okay. I would say my husband's going to eat this up. Okay. okay. Get that in there, guys. Give that a good five minutes. Or until your noodles, we want to cook it al dente. Okay, I didn't add no oil because I want the sauce to stick. Okay? If you have some uh, 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 Parmesan cheese, go ahead, feel free to add it. So I'm just going to slice, thinly slice some... Uh, Garlic, I just want a little bit of garlic. Not a lot. You know, just a little bit here. Okay. So I'm gonna add a, a, a half a stick of butter, guys. About a half a stick of butter to this. That we're gonna get melted. Melting. I'm also gonna throw in my onions and garlic. Let's just separate these. Okay, along with it. Okay. And again, my pesto sauce that I made, it has um, parsley, lemon thyme, okay? Um, if you don't have lemon thyme, which I grow from my garden, use real thyme. And what you could do is grate in a little fresh lemon peel in this too, just a little bit. Um, so it could brighten up the flavor. Then I used some uh, dill, because I had so much guys and I didn't want this to go to waste. Some nice dill. And some oregano, okay? And as a matter of fact, I'm gonna get a little bit more. Okay. So I'm using, believe it or not, I'm using, <laughs> this is a good amount of pasta here. You know, I'm using just butter. Okay, because we want to soften our onions and here. I my water really nicely, guys. Salt your water really nicely. Okay. And in the pesto, and then I had some leftover chicken breast, like I mentioned, that I cut up, okay? Then I'm gonna add. If you don't have homemade pesto, you could buy your pesto. But I went right to my um, my windowsill to get my herbs. And I... I'm eyeing this, guys. About a cup. Or a cup and a quarter, a cup and a third of uh, half and half. Or you could use heavy cream if you want it a little richer. A little black pepper. 
plenty of black pepper. And I, I'm not gonna add salt because my pasta's already salted. Okay. There you go. Add my chicken breasts so they can warm through. All right. This is gonna look green. So we're just warming this through. And it's gonna be really, really quick. I'm gonna add a little, about one stick. I, I use like a half a stick plus one tablespoon of butter. I'm using, I think this is unsalted butter. Okay. About a good half a cup of this delicious pesto. Okay. And I got this on medium heat. If you want a little bit more spice to it, you can. I just want to check this taste of sauce here. Because, you know, again, my pasta has salt. All right. Guys, the lemon thyme makes a big difference. But if you don't have lemon thyme, mm, if you don't have lemon thyme, you could have your thyme, fresh thyme, and grate some lem a little bit of lemon peel in here. Grating a little zest of lemon. And that's just going to brighten everything up. Mm, 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 mm. Now I'm going to throw in my noodles. Break them up a little bit with your hands. My hands are clean, guys, and this is for demonstration purposes only. Okay, I just bring down that heat a little bit. And if you want this a little bit more creamier, a little bit more half and half, which I think I'll do. In time, there's, there's something about that lemon in here that just, that lemon flavor from the thyme that makes a big difference. The fresh combination of the fresh dill. But again, you could use regular pesto. Okay, mm, smell that. And my loves, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe. And don't forget to press that notification bell so you can be notified of all my new upcoming videos. And press that thumb button so we could get the algorithm going and push this video out there. And let everybody know that Jackie's cooking. Okay, our chicken breast is already warm through. Okay. Okay, I'm going to serve this right out of the pan. Top it off with a little fresh parsley. Okay. And there you go. Easy dish. Let's have a taste. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Let's get some parsley. Some nice fresh parsley. Take that bite, baby. Let's have a taste. Mmm. Oh. Oh, my God. That's so good. Oh, my God. Mmm. 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 Really quick, guys. Oh. So good. Please try this recipe, guys. I'll definitely have the recipe in the description box below. Please leave me your comments. And I need you to do three things for me, my loves. And that is eat, love, and pray. Until next time.